the project that I'm considering at the moment is uh, the journey of a tree and what happens during its life and beyond after it's chopped down and well felled and processed and then pulped up and um, and then processed into these uh, cardboard boxes that are scattered on the street. I want to create a sense of where they've come from by by creating these objects that have a sense of passing time and the journey and and well each ring could represent a year of its life. I chose to study here because when I came here on an open day I basically fell in love with the character of the place and the fact that um, still had kind of traditional values of painting in a way which I think is lost in a lot of other fine art courses um, and the amount of tutoring we get as well is just um, quite unique I think. The paintings that I've been working on this year um, are to do with the, d the domestic, the everyday moments in life when your home or your life has been disturbed in some way by an outside force. It's to do with the feeling of the uncanny. Um, and often it's the natural world, which I see as a kind of um, fetid, creeping kind of um, breeding thing rather than uh, romantic hills and valleys. <laughs> I think as a mature student you bring certain things to your work and the way you approach your work and as far as I'm concerned City and Girls has been really encouraging me to use experiences from my working life and background. The course is very encouraging for people who want to take a non-traditional approach. I mean, in fact, if you want to take a more traditional approach and perhaps use things like casting or mould making, um, which are traditional techniques, albeit you can use them in, in non-traditional ways, the experience here has given me is a sense that really whatever I want to do, I've got the resources and the people who will encourage me or point me in the right direction. For my painting today, I'm working with closed circuit television, CCTV images, and trying to take those fairly dematerialized digital images and rematerialize them through paint into a different experience so that people experience the violence more viscerally than perhaps I think they do um, with what's now become kind of banal CCTV images. Then I render that in paint on a large canvas like this. Um, applying it with a palette knife very thickly. Also characteristic of CCTV images is that they, they suggest certainty and truth, but the, the more you look, the less clarity you actually get. And then what I'll do is take my large canvas and I'll flip it upside down and I'll nest it right in here and then press, depending on where I, where I want the most paint to ooze out on the other side. It oozes through. It's so weird as the colors come out totally different than you see them on the other side. The course here has been really instrumental in helping me think through how to approach these ideas that have been rolling around in my head for quite a while. So the first thing that that hits you when you come is the the ability of the tutors to to zone in to to where each of us as students were coming from to begin with. The literature that I was referred to was usually spot on and um, the other artists that I was referred to were fantastic. I'd love to say there's one tutor that was instrumental. There's so many honestly that have been um, who, who come in and sort of get it. And it's amazing to me that they can get it, get my stuff, and then get it with somebody who's doing something so radically different and, um, and milk you know, the best out of everybody. So I did my BA here, and I did enjoy the, the, um, the time I spent um, as a student. 
Um, and it, the, the most important thing was just a close, a close relationship with the tutors and, and the students. MA course was so different um, from BA and it was more specific um, and I chose to do um, two years course part time. I work part time and I've got a studio outside. Um, and I show quite regularly um, outside of college as well. The way I actually see my artwork is quite different from three years ago or take, you know, five years ago. I guess people actually develop, but when I'm an artist, people just change a lot. The good thing about here is just that you get tutorials more often. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it gets too much, but, um, you know, just like listening to all the different opinions and stuff. So you get very selective about what you want to hear and what you want to take. BA course, um, when you're actually doing a project, basically it's, it's, it's down to you, it's quite individual. Um, but MA course, it's about sort of group activities um, and you just get loads of reactions from people, loads of opinions and everybody's got different backgrounds and everybody's got different things to say. There is a, some sort of remarkable chemistry, magic that happens amongst the students, I think, here and, and I felt it right away. Um, there's a giant range in age. The range of experiences is equally broad. I mean, there's a former accountant, I'm a former documentary filmmaker. Um, several people, of course, coming straight from art school or coming from art school some number of years ago. So first I found the images that I'm interested in. And then I just placed myself with uh, the help of Photoshop, inserting myself in the images and becoming the character. I just used the image that I had, that I print out, and I'm just working from that, so I can get the picture. I'm Adriana Arango. I'm from Colombia. I've been here two years, well, in London. For the last year, I've been doing DMA course. The subject of my work is uh, self-portraiture and the use of fantasy to explore like an alter ego. I grew up in a country where soap operas are very important and I never thought that they had a really strong impact in me, but they do. At the beginning of June, we hand in this dissertation and the rest of the summer, we have the time to work on the paintings based on the results that we came up with them in the dissertation. The experience of doing the dissertation, well, it wasn't so easy for me because of the language, but I received all the help that I couldn't imagine. That's a great part of Sitting Guilds' teaching as well, is this kind of self-direction, this kind of self-exploration, and um, the way the course is constructed allows that over three years, so you feel like you're kind of ploughing your own furrow through this art world, be it quite meandering or, you know, whatever. It's, it's a great time and it, you really kind of look at yourself. It's quite an introspective time. Um, but at the same time, it kind of does deconstruct you, but it does put you back together at the end. There's this final show, which is your, uh, it's your chance to kind of make a statement about you and your artwork. Uh, but it's not the end, it's the sort of starting point. It's this little blip in your kind of career which leads you out into the, the art world. 